Below the bridge wing. Below the bridge wing. Some call these moves strafing runs without the firing. Tonight, U.S. officials still furious over the buzzing of an American Navy ship by Russian combat jets. America's top diplomat calling the incident in the Baltic Sea reckless, provocative. Under the rules of engagement, uh, that could have been a shoot down. So people need to understand uh, that this is serious business uh, and the United States is not going to be uh, intimidated. In wave after wave, Russian jets buzz the USS Donald Cook at certain points coming within 30 feet of the ship. No margin for error, right? That's correct. I mean, you are talking feet. We're not talking yards or miles. We're talking feet. And basically, if this pilot, you know, sneezed or or looked a different direction and just and the plane went another way, bang, it could have hit the ship. The Russian jets were not armed. Russian officials are defending their actions tonight, saying these flybys were in accordance with international rules. But analysts say we're in a very dangerous period. It's absolutely the worst it's been since the end of the Cold War. The USS Cook was operating in international waters, but only about 70 miles off the Russian territory of Kaliningrad, where the Russians have military ports. That, plus the capabilities of the American Aegis destroyer, likely got under Vladimir Putin's skin. This ship has the, the most advanced radar capability in the fleet of the United States Navy. It, ha it not only can detect missiles, but it also can shoot down missiles. And this is probably what irritated the Russians, not only that it was operating out, out in, in the sea, but also close to their shores. Putin is being as aggressive as ever, using his ramped up military to threaten his neighbors, provoke the U.S., push every envelope, all with a clear message, we must be respected. Putin's narrative is one of strength, right? So at home, it's he got us off our knees. Internationally, it's we are capable of standing up to the United States and other countries to assert our interests. 